Flake Commentary Breakdown Chair. I'm with Rob's brother Hank, and you guys have met Hank before. Rob, Hank, and I did a video together back in the day. The Wing Chun guy that fought our famous MMA panda, this time taking on another MMA guy, but the difference is this time he outweighs the MMA guy. So before, the guy, Xu Xiaodong, was like 100 pounds at least heavier than him. Wow. So let's see what his Wing Chun will do this time when it's against an MMA fighter that's smaller than him. He likes wearing these shirts. Huh? Yep. He's has his Wing Chun stance out. MMA guy goes with a kick. Look at him. He, he's doing his whoa, rapid. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He's I not know. guarding himself at not all. Not at all. Not guarding himself at all. But he's trying to do the trapping, you see. He's in the range. He's doing the trapping. But my criticism of Wing Chun trapping is if you're in the trapping range, you might as well clinch, which is what the MMA fighter is doing. He's throwing elbows and trying to go in a clinch. So How many he's, punches did he just take there without even lot. pushing any of back? Yeah. So, guys, uh, Ken, um, oh, great left. Like I said, he's Look trying to do knee. trapping, but, elbow. like, you Man. you can't do trapping with the MMA fighters clinching you. Clinching is just superior to Wing Chun trapping. Um, Where's the defense? Exactly. Hank's a Kaju Kembo fighter, by the way, guys. So, Hank has a mixture of traditional MMA type of training, and there's a police siren going on outside which i think is a foreshadowing of what we might see <laughs> <laughs> he needs an ambulance after this yeah exactly like see he's, he's dropping his hands now because he's he's in that rhythm right he's trying to block the kick don't try to block a kick check a kick because that's what oh, happens gone exactly down absolute gone or look at this look at that well he can't defend his chin when his hands are yeah, down when his, his hands knees. are down exactly did the fighter come over and try and yeah, help him? Yeah, to help him. Very good show of respect. They always say MMA fighters have no respect. Absolute respect right there. Well, you know, it also could have, like, probably maybe hurt him. So the ref was like, get off him. Let me make sure that he's not going to, like, you're not going to, like, while he's knocked out, neck, you know, turn his neck the wrong way. But, exactly. Gosh, that was so predictable, That was so Jerry. predictable. I mean, it's just... Why did they even let that in the, happen exactly. in the ring? Why did they even let this happen, man? I just... Does he have a trainer? Does he, he have anyone responsible? He has, quote-unquote, a trainer who's a Wing Chun guy, but his trainer got defeated by a one-handed boxer. <laughs> so I don't think his How trainer... Why did he pick his trainer? Yeah, I know. Why do you pick his trainer? Let me show you another angle of this fight. This is a pretty cool... It's like another angle. Maybe we'll spot some more things. So like this one's a focused... A glutton for punishment Yeah, right exactly. There. He Look can take thing. hits, but why are you even holding your hands out like that? Oh, no. See, he's trying to, he's going in aggressive with those chain punches, but they do nothing. Yeah. Look, look at MMA guy. Every one of his hits counts. And then he's, he's in that trapping range, but he's not pulling his hands yeah. back. Yeah, exactly. So you have no force. You have no momentum with any of those trapping hits you do to his yeah. face. Might as well be paying patty cake. Exactly. Might as well be paying patty cake with his face. And then see, you see, that's he, the, yeah. Oh, oh, there we go. Little, he eats elbows. You try to knees, do your little knees, patty knees, cake. He will knees, need you knees. and elbow you. I think you. that was seven knees. Yeah, seven knees. It's really cool to see it from did this angle. Did the referee just like? Did he just walk away? Because he was just like, yeah. He's like, I got to recharge. Such a beat down yeah. on him. Yeah. He's like, okay, man. I'll give you a second to gather yourself. And now he's just stepping back, stepping yep. back. Is that his trainer? That's his trainer, Yu Chong Hua. Oh, yeah. no. That's the Wing Chun trainer who got beat up by the one arm boxer. Dude, I'm so glad we found this angle. Yeah, this is a much better angle because we could see that his trainer's not helping yeah. him at all. Look at that. Oh, man. Look at that trainer. Yeah. Oh, man. He needs to get a better trainer, man. Was that a two minute fight? Yeah. Um, I think this was two minutes. Oh, man. Exactly two minutes. Wow. What was the round supposed to be? Um, I assume. Let me see if we can find. How long the rounds are supposed to be. Uh, and that was just this month. Yeah, that was just this month. Oh. oh, actually, it was only one minute. The fight started at around, you see, 54. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. One thing I don't get is why would you even stand like this? I feel like all this is is posturing. Well, the whole... I mean, obviously, he's not a fighter. Yeah. So being in a fighting ring is posturing itself. That's true. It's like, <laughs> let me put a mirror up, and I'm going to show you how many postures I can do. It just, you're sticking this hand out. When you're doing this, aren't you tiring your muscles out? You're tiring your striking hand. You're at least tiring this hand out, sticking this hand out like this, looking like an idiot. You know, it's it's whatever this dude 
put in his head. Mm -hmm. it's, it's all mental for this guy. Yeah. And it's almost like he's there to get punished yeah. for something like he feels like, you know, maybe he owes penance for. I don't know. Oh, yeah. It almost feels like he's doing this on purpose. And then look at this. The moment the fight starts, look at that. He drops that stance. He pulls that. It was this hand, right? He pulls this hand back, and now he's... So what was the point of that thing we saw earlier? What was the point of doing this if the fight starts? And look at this. He immediately is going to... Sh so what was the point of sticking that hand out like that? You know, it's it's trying to be intimidating. Obviously, he came out with this aggressive at first because he knows most good fighters are going to take a few moments to gauge the fight yeah, to feel... makes sense. So he's trying to seem like he's uh, got an advantage by oh, coming out in the, and hard in the beginning but obviously this guy I don't know I don't know who sanctioned this fight and let this guy get in the ring yeah. because wow he's taken losses like this before yeah yeah and he hasn't learned he hasn't learned his lesson in fact he rechallenged the guy who beat him he's like I'm going to beat you again even though he didn't even beat the, the guy the first time so, and this is, look at, look at that elbow, man. Wing Chun's supposed to be really good at the trapping range. You know, in between the grapple and the striking, there's a trapping range, right? Some people call it clinching range. But what we see here is the Muay Thai, the pummel, the plum, the knees, the elbows are superior to any kind of slap boxing, what you call patty cake. Anything he was trying to do, look at how many knees he ate, like you mentioned. And can we just acknowledge that this guy's cardio is horrible compared to his opponent? Yeah. I mean, he's so out of shape. Yeah, yeah. Why does he think that he should be in the ring? Yeah, exactly. If he wants to get close to the ring, he could get by front row seats. Yeah, exactly. That was a great quote right there. If you want to get close to the ring in the future, Ding Hall, just buy front row seats. You know, maybe think about like being a trainer. Yeah. Because... <laughs> <laughs> At least you could say, here's what not to do and yeah. be more effective than this guy's trainer. Exactly. And look at that. He, he gives up on any Wing Chun. At, I don't think he's doing any Wing Chun at this point. Look at his trainer. This trainer. He just seems like an amateur. Yeah, his trainer can't beat anyone, man. What kind of stance is this? What are you he's doing? He's telegraphing yeah. right now. He's telegraphing, like, kick me right up here. Yeah, exactly. And so he's trying to block... He's trying to low block a kick. You know, he's a Muay Thai trained, Sanda trained guy. You don't want to block that roundhouse kick. Do you know that in his style of what what do you call Wing Chun? Wing Chun, Chun yeah. It, are you supposed to go down for a low block? There, there is a low block, yeah. Like Kaji Kimbo. Yeah. But I wouldn't do that in a ring situation. Yeah, this exactly. is not like a sparring yeah. thing. This yeah. is that you definitely want to check that. Why why wouldn't they be teaching that checking? Exactly. But I, I mean, I guess I got so many questions on why they would even go with Wing Chun in the first place. The thing about the Kaju Kempo you do is Kaju Kempo is much more pressure tested than Wing Chun is. Like, Kaju Kempo can't even really be considered traditional martial art. It's much more of an MMA with traditional flair. You still have the katas, which I feel are so choreographed that they don't make sense. Mm -hmm. I never really understood. I felt like that was just more for like discipline mm -hmm. and like to show people that you can learn and train. Exactly. And, and train your advance, memory, maybe. Advance yeah. and higher katas. Mm -hmm. But do we have any insight to what his practices are like? Um, all I can tell is I've seen footage of him before he fought the first MMA fighter and they have taken on other schools. So they have sparred. But considering how bad he lost twice to MMA guys, it doesn't look like the people he sparred before were any good. Now, does the authorities who are sanctioning this fight, do, do they like blow the whistle and say no more fights for you? Or are they just going to allow him? I think they're going to allow him to keep getting destroyed. Because it brings an audience? Because yeah, it's money-driven? I think money it brings driven. an audience. I think so. <clears throat> how many times has he been knocked out? Um, as of this point, just two. So this is the second time. And the first time, he, I don't think... His concussion was as bad as this. So, oh my goodness, man. His sensei, that motherfucker, is irresponsible. No, oh, yeah. Well, it's so irresponsible, man. Started with, you know, pretending to train him. Yeah. Started with gassing him up to believe that yeah. he should even be in a ring. Yeah. What kind of money does he make for this fight? I have no idea. I really need to get to know more. This guy's name is Ahu. Let's see what we can find. So, this is Ahu. And let's see what we can find. What's his find. record like? Um, he's only amateur, so it looks like he he's competed. Let's see. 
Uh, oh, wait, no, he's definitely not an amateur, man. He's um, one of the seven best, apparently, one of the seven best um, <laughs> MMA people. Those were great names. Yeah. 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 The guy's obviously been training for a while. Yeah. The dude's super fit. Exactly. So, well, let's see if we have any information on the money he was paid. Do they have the post-fight interviews? Like the, uh, I think we will start seeing. This is breaking, so oh. we will see them very soon. And guys, when we get the post-fight interviews, I will translate them like always. What I really saw from this was, like, just like... He this tried. Is, he really tried some of the trapping stuff. This is the fight before? This is, uh, it's the same fight, but just that, the first angle we saw. See, he's trying all the Wing Chun stuff, and four of his attacks are, are not even equal to one regular punch from this kickboxer. See, and then they're in clinching range, and he's trying his trapping stuff, but like you said, look at this. Like, you don't have any force compared Oof. to that. Oof. Compared to that. Just took yeah. a freaking blow. He just took a freaking blows. pro, man. Two blows and, and one. Like, thing. like, Ding Hall tried tried his little slap boxing. Right, he he probably hit him a little bit here, but why is his eyes closed? Yeah. So he hit him. You see, he he hit him once. It was like a little glancing slap, yeah. and then what does he get in return? That, that's the difference. And then he he oh, so gets another three one. Minute round. Yeah. So the three minute round. Yeah. So the first round, he's already getting destroyed. So I think it looked like he eye poked or something. Like, because it looks, see, he, he's rubbing his eyes or or maybe like he scratched or something. I don't know. Huh. So you see, it, he, he did do a little bit of damage in that exchange to the to the MMA guy. And the MMA guy is now, okay, I, I should avoid the trapping range too a little bit. But like you said, those blows aren't like concussive blows. They're just kind of glancing blows. It's cool to slow it down, right? You really get to see some details you don't see. Look at that. Head off center line. Just boom. Right in the face. And then look at that. Ding Hall tries, right? Again, he tries some of the Wing Chun trapping. This is... um. If he wasn't trying to trap so much, that right arm mm -hmm. could be an elbow yeah, to the chin. Yeah, exactly. Like, this is one of my criticisms of the Wing Chun trapping. Instead of trapping, why don't you use it as an elbow? Opportunity yeah. cost, man. It is an opportunity it's cost. It's like exactly. you really are there for patty yeah. cakes. Like, look what he's doing. He's using his forearm. Like, it's an attack. When I when it's I took Kempel loss, and yeah, it's like a... I've learned that attack in Kempel. It's like but a block almost. Yeah. yeah, it's like you can lift the chin and hit downwards, but your opponent's reacting, right? So, look at that. You see that? Ding kind of like takes this and maybe it's like a, this is like a scraping of the eye a little bit, a little bit. So, and then it's so cool to slow it down, see some right. of the stuff Ding's trying to do. And then the problem right. is, Get like, right into the knees. yeah, exactly. You naturally, as a Thai based trained fighter, like, he knows how to clinch. And now he's controlled you. Oh my goodness. This is going to just, oh my God. And he actually kind of, this one misses, this one grazes, but the next one definitely hits. Look at that, he, this is like this one. So this is a punch right here. Now he's like, now I'm going to go start going yep. the knees. And then, yeah, you're right, this is when he goes for the knees. He missed that. Yeah, first. and this is one knee. You right. counted seven, I think, so two knees, and then three knee, and all of them hit, man. Right. And then four. Four knee, definitely five knee. Oh man, that one was that, that one was, was a yeah. good connect. Six, this one I don't think connected, but six knee maybe it did. I think this one was a kick. Right, I think it was a kick, like a kick yeah, to the like torso. Kick to the torso. So five plus kick. Yeah, five plus kick. Wow. So and that's why, like you said, he was like he backed up. He's like, okay, I'm gonna take a break from getting destroyed. Yeah. Why did Price Fighter give him so much time, man? He just yeah. kind of like gave him a few too many You're seconds. You're right. Like, like the, the MMA guy could have ended it right there. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess he's just putting a little bit more fear into him. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hey, man, you just took some serious damage. Yeah. 
But it's like they're friends or something. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't it feel like they're friends? It like does they feel know like there was an agreement. Like, okay, let's let's try to drag this at least a minute. Like, you see, <laughs> they, they drag this a minute, you see. That's hilarious. And then here's what we're going to see. This MMA fighter does the brilliant thing. He keeps low kicking, right? Well, and yes. then it makes him lower hands. Right. So that was the second. And then third. third. Right. See, and now he's going to go with the right kick. And another one. That's the Four. fourth. He gets him in a rhythm. And Bam. look at that. Uh, and then the gone. right. Yeah. Look at that. Wow. We learned so many lessons in this, man. Like, getting people in a rhythm is so effective. Right. right. And as the other side, when people are trying to get you in a rhythm, make sure you realize, okay, probably he's, he's not going to continue doing this. Up. Exactly. Right. Exactly. He's definitely set him. And he learned really quick. Yeah. I yeah. missed with that yeah. hook. So I'm going to go in with some knees. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So, guys, um, this MMA fighter right here took on two more Kung Fu guys. So... We will find that oh, later. I and can't wait to see yeah. a real fight. Yeah. When I find another one, I will bring Hank back, mm -hmm. and then we will watch another this one. This is so much fun. I, this is fun, This man. is great. I love this Yeah, channel. I'm so glad to have Hank back. Last time we did the video was in 2016, I think. Wow. So, yeah, it's... It's been Hank's, yeah, it's been it's been three years, dude. I love it. Even though Rob's been on this channel so much, but you guys know Hank's busy. He's the nature's wild berry guy. I'm, I'm on the berry right now. You're on the berry. That's amazing. <laughs> So guys, um, I will link Nature's Wild Berry too. You can actually use Jerry as a discount code. So guys, fight commentary breakdowns out. Leave your comments below. Let us know what you think. And go check out the original links if you don't want our analysis and critique. All right? Talk to you guys soon.